Well, here at the television station in West Lafayette, we've had 57.2 inches of snow this winter. Now, you go back to 1887 with the West Lafayette data, part of it's from Purdue, part of it's from, from the uh, Purdue Ag Farm, and the record was 60 inches in 1977-78 during that winter. We may eclipse that, and this could end up being the snowiest winter on record. And looking at the forecast, it does look like we will surpass 60 inches. Other snowfall amounts in the viewing area for the winter from our dedicated spotters. Over 68 inches at Michigan Town, 63 inches at Tipton, 61 Frankfurt, and Crawfordsville about 58, and even Kentland, almost 58 inches of snow. And uh, for several of these places, it is the snowiest winter on record. The wind's decreasing, but it certainly was a very breezy weekend. But I tell you what, the wind will crank up again, and more cold weather is coming back at us. As a matter of fact, tonight, with lows in the teens and a breeze about 10 miles an hour, wind chills are going to drop back below zero. And we have some light snow coming in, too. 15 Lafayette, 14 at Remington, 18 at Crawfordsville, 17 at Frankfurt. Tomorrow, the wind cranks up, and any light snow ends. But the wind chill will still stay below zero and in the single digits because we could have some gusts tomorrow up to 30 miles an hour. 20 Winnemac, 23 Lafayette, 26 Crawfordsville, and 25 at Frankfurt. Now, even tomorrow night, with us dropping to near zero and wind still gusty, wind chills to 25 below tomorrow night. And on Wednesday, wind chills still around 10 below all day. And that's late February, almost March standards. We should be in the low 40s. 11 for the Hyatt Lafayette Wednesday, 9 Monticello, 12 Romney, and 8 at Winnemac. On our high-res future cast, you can see the light snow coming in tonight. That's midnight, perhaps a few light snow showers in our southern counties. The bulk of this passes through overnight and early tomorrow morning. That's 2.40 in the morning, for example. You can see the area of light snow coming through, but it gets out of here fairly quickly tomorrow morning. That's about 10.30. We'll get a little sunshine tomorrow, perhaps a brief little flurry. Otherwise, just kind of partly cloudy skies and partly cloudy right up to Wednesday, just very cold. And then we track the next system that'll bring snow by next week. Tonight, one inch or less of accumulation, enough to put down a little bit of a coating, slicken things up a little bit. But also, with that, the record cold comes in. Record cold Wednesday, it stays very cold right through the weekend and into next week with many nights below zero, and in early March, it still looks like we may have a pretty substantial snow on the way. It's too early to tell how much and the exact timing, but in the first few days of March, low pressure coming out of Texas could bring several inches of snow to the viewing area. Seven-day forecast, unfortunately, 11 on Wednesday, zero Thursday morning, 20 Friday, there's the snow coming in on Sunday with 22 degrees, snow Monday ending with 15. And it may stay cold into the middle part of that next week. The good news is by the 7th or 8th, I think the 40s could come back in. And hopefully, let's hope that this is the last major cold snap because this looks like the coldest start to March since 1996. Yeah, not much difference between March and February. <laughs> bet, yeah. All right, thanks. Chad. Thanks, Chad. Up next, billions of dollars in spending.